Jimmy Kimmel may have revealed a little more than he intended to. I took my family to Japan this week. When he compared life in Japan to Europe and the United States. But now, after traveling to Japan, I realize that this place, this USA we're always chanting about, is a filthy and disgusting country. <laughs> but wait, they told me calling crime-ridden big city blue states shitholes was a paranoid right-wing trope. We were in Japan for seven days. Not only did I not encounter a single dirty bathroom, <laughs> The bathrooms in Tokyo and Kyoto are cleaner than our operating rooms here. Fascinating correlation between clean bathrooms in Japanese cities and a total absence of sketchy junkies using them to shoot up. And it's not just the bathroom. There's no litter. People carry their own trash. Amazing. So if you don't allow your streets to be filled with crazed crackheads engaging in open-air drug use, shitting everywhere and discarding their used needles, you end up having clean streets. It's like... The whole country is Disneyland, and we're living at Six Flags. Mind-boggling, isn't it, how a country that locks up thieves for up to ten years develops a culture of respect for well-resourced police officers turns out to have nicer and safer cities than a country that trashes and defunds its police officers and gives criminals the green light to go on mass looting sprees. Literally ransacking a San Francisco Walgreens. Look at the aisles right there, and they don't even care. I've been home 36 hours. I've never felt dirtier. We are like... <laughs> Hogs compared to the Japanese. I can't imagine what they must think of us. Wait a minute. Tucker Carlson's a racist crank for making basically the same comparison between Moscow and US cities. What was radicalizing, very shocking and very disturbing for me was the city of Moscow, where I'd never been, the biggest city in Europe, 13 million people. And it is so much nicer than any city in my country. It is so much cleaner and safer and prettier aesthetically. It's architecture, it's food, it's service than any country in city in the United States. But Kimmel does a very similar thing in front of a live studio audience and they all laugh it up. But yes, the Americans, garbage, yes. <laughs> a high trust society, clean and safe streets. What could Japan possibly be doing that the US and other European countries are getting wrong? If you've got any idea, please tell me in the comments because I'm truly baffled. Japan was the future, but it's stuck in the past. Oh, pray tell BBC, what does being stuck in the past look like? Refusing immigration and maintaining the patriarchy, a peaceful, prosperous country with the longest life expectancy in the world, the lowest murder rate and little political conflict, as well as affordable property prices and Japan still feeling like Japan. Oh no, how awful. You know what they need? 10 million Bamalians. London no jinkou ni shimeru hakujin e kokujin no wariai wa 36.8%. Tsumari, hakujin e kokujin ga jikoku no shito de shousu sha ni natte shimaimashita. Kono Oh, don't worry, love. I'm sure the only difference you'll notice is the more widespread availability of diverse cuisine. Also, your McDonald's ads may start to look a bit different. <laughs> It's a debate they said would never be settled. Boxers or briefs. But when it comes to keeping your meat and two veg dry and comfortable, unless you actually want a sweaty and clammy ball sack, which if you do, go and seek therapy. Sheath underwear has settled the debate for good. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. Invented by a US Army veteran who came up with the idea during his second tour of Iraq, Sheath uses a modern ergonomic design intended to prevent skin-on-skin -skin contact for long durations which can build up heat and sweat. What you get is the most exquisite blends of quality fabrics to ensure less chafing, less readjusting. That is some smooth quality right there. Summer's just around the corner. It's hot, it's hectic, and it can get complicated down there. That's why Sheath has two, count them, two individual compartments to keep everything cool, calm, and collected. Providing you with long-lasting comfort and moisture prevention even in the most extreme circumstances. Scientifically engineered and carefully crafted, Sheath's isolation pouch technology is going to keep your boys safely secured in their barracks. I mean, why wouldn't you want to treat your crown jewels like royalty? Sheath also has super fast shipping and your order will arrive in just a few days. Check out all the top reviews on their website for official proof. And get this, Sheath Underwear is now the exclusive partner of the UFC. Well, if it's good enough for them, it's something you might want to get on board with. Use code PRISONPLANET at checkout or go to sheathunderwear.com slash PRISONPLANET for 20% off. Just click the link in the description down below to take advantage of that massive discount. That's sheathunderwear.com slash PRISONPLANET. Link in the description box right down there below. But for Japan, one of the least diverse developed countries in the world, 
the times are a-changing. Due to rapidly declining native birth rates, the East Asian country is already in the process of reversing course completely. Japan is entering an era of mass foreign immigration. In fact, it's already been happening for several years now. And at the end of last year, Japan announced crime had risen for the first time in 20 years. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. In one program alone, 820,000 migrants will be admitted, a doubling of the previously agreed number. The government says it wants to make efforts to realise an inclusive society. They call them skilled foreign visas, but then admit they're for migrants to drive taxis, buses and trucks and work in factories. These migrants will eventually be allowed to bring their entire families into the country, and they've also expanded it to the service industry. By 2040, there'll be an anticipated labour shortage of 11 million workers. To offset this gap, Japan would need 647,000 working age immigrants per year, an incredibly high number. Maintaining GDP levels versus maintaining the security and identity of your country. Hmm, if only Japan had the luxury of being able to look at other major developed nations like France, which decided to follow a similar course and see how it ended up for them. Japan's also loosening its rules on Indian tourist visas. You Despite Indians in the UK, for example, being the most likely nationality to overstay illegally when their visa expires. As many as 100,000 Indians were living illegally in the UK in 2018. Wow, this is huge! Japan will probably see their highest tourism ever. E-visa will make things easy for Indians. Everyone likes having Indians in their country nowadays. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. The cleanest, <laughs> beautiful. So a lot of people ask me about the smells of India, and in some places, yes, it does. <laughs> because this woman is uh, making uh, circles of cow poo, and they are all just lined along this bridge, which is very, very bizarre. <laughs> With Japan still being a very homogenous society, their stereotypes about non-Japanese people may be a little bit different to ours in the West. <laughs> All very positive. And from where did they get this impression? <laughs> From the movies. Makes sense. The return to Fresh Prince. <laughs> so that naturally leads on to the next question. <laughs> Oh, to be a fly on the wall when that happens. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. 